Hello everybody, welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator live stream. I hope you're all doing well. Happy Thursday evening, my friends. Good to see everybody here, welcome back. Appreciate y'all being here. Traveling and walking around Carlton Place, thank you for the subscription, Reggie, appreciate you, man. Welcome back, thank you, thank you, thank you. Evan, good to see you. Captain Noah, welcome. AG, good to see you. Uh, Boeing 787 fan, welcome back. Joe Sardo, good to see you. Addo, good to see you. Captain Zemp, welcome. Spam Ram, welcome. Andrew Day, good to see you. Moff Jam, welcome. Kelmo, good to see you. Uh, MN Sports Fan, welcome back. Matthew O, good to see you. Leonard Grant, welcome. Wyatt, good to see you. Tony Baldo's in the house, good to see you, man. Max Medcraft's here, welcome back. Skyworker, welcome back, my friend. Ronnie, good to see you, dude. Ronnie, did you figure out what's going on with your PMDG? If you haven't done so already, Ronnie, go over to the PMDG YouTube channel. They've got a great tutorial kind of show you how to set up the aircraft from a cold and dark state. So hopefully that can help. Uh, it's yelling at me to open up the cargo doors. So we're going to open up cargo doors. I don't know why it's asking me for that. Usually it does it automatically, but we'll see. Um, Leo, good to see you, man. Kyle, welcome back as well. Good to see you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, appreciate everybody being here. Welcome back, man. We've got a fun flight planned today. Going from Louisville. Louisville up to Toronto. It looks like we've got full ATC and it looks like the weather at both airports are going to be a little bit sketchy. So it should be a fun day of flying. Looking forward to it. Perfect time for a stream. Going to have playing in the background as I uh, pack for my own flight. There you go, Maxwell. Sweet, dude. Hope you have a great flight, man. IRL. Uh, Andy, good to see you, mate. Glad to see you going to YYZ. Yes, love flying into Toronto, man. Every opportunity that we have. So welcome aboard, friends. Appreciate y'all being here. Let's jump inside the aircraft. Let's get this bad boy program ready to rock and roll. Like I said, we've got full ETC on the ground today, so that's going to take a little bit longer of... Uh, 
of a time to get things up and running and ready to go. So we'll go ahead and get this bad boy programmed. First thing is first inside the cockpit. Let's go to the overhead. Let's go ahead and get the battery switch one, two, and three online. Beautiful. Bring the aircraft to life. Let's go ahead and get our external power online. That will actually bring the aircraft to life. All of our systems. Beautiful. Let's go upstairs. We'll get left side nav, right side nav, and center nav. All to the nav positions. Good. Continue our flows down here. Everything looks good. We'll get the no smoking up to the auto position. Good. Everything else over here. We'll flip this over to bat two, and we'll go with... Uh, external power as well on that guy beautiful let's come down here we'll get some galley power on we'll go and get our nav and logo lights on good center pedestal everything looks good here fuel pumps are all gonna stay off we are gonna be refueling here in a second APU master start switch can go on window heat can go on emergency exits are armed and everything else looks good to me up there beautiful let's come down here to our electronic flight bag we're gonna go to our weight and balance tab here today uh, we're gonna go custom cargo from Simbrief you can see it's going to load that up there. We're going to update via Simbrief. We're just going to apply load to the aircraft. Beautiful. Pretty heavy once again. Uh, very similar to our weights this afternoon. Um, into, uh, where did we fly? Milano. And uh, back to um, Leipzig. Nearly 1 a.m. in the UK, but always uh, got to tune in. Well, thank you, Captain No, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for being here, dude. I do appreciate you. All right, cool. We've got everything loaded on there. Let's come down here to the aircraft. We're going to go to the menu tab. We're going to go ahead and go to A cars. We're going to go to Sim Brief. It's going to populate all of that. SDF to YYZ with our alternate of Trenton, CYTR. I think that's Trenton. Um, going up to flight level 350 today. We're going to align the IRS. Beautiful. Let that take care of all of that fun stuff. Uh, cleared step five departure, maintain 5,350. All right, so let's go and grab the ATIS here out of Louisville. It says ATIS information Delta. Winds are 310, 12 gusting, 22. Seven mile visibility rain, scattered at 2200, broken at 5500, overcast at 7,000. ILS approach, 35 left and 35 right. Simultaneous approaches in use. Um, NSC, Sensi, runway 35 left, departures 29, 11 available for OPR, simultaneous departure. So we're going to expect 35 left for a departure today, and everything looks good there. Cool. Let's go to our ACARS tab. We're going to go to our uh, flight plan. Actually, you know what? We'll get our flight plan in here, or our flight number. UPS 488 is what we are today, so we'll throw that up into there. Let's go to our flight plan. We're going to go SDF. We're going to go to standard instrument departures. We are going to expect 35 left for departure. We're going to be on the strep five. Beautiful. We'll go and insert that. Great. Uh, we can come down here to Toronto. We can see what the weather is doing in Toronto. I think we can actually pick up the ATIS. If we go to weather, ATIS, VATSIM, Toronto. Beautiful. Uh, Toronto information, Papa. Winds are 090 at three knots, so not a lot of wind. Three mile visibility. Rain. Broken at 3,000. Overcast at 3,000. <laughs> Pardon me. 13 degrees. 2-9 or 3-9 or primary IFR approach, ILS runway 6 right. Secondary approach, RNAV Yankee or ILS runway 5. Um, for parking reasons, we are going to e expect runway 5 for our arrival. You can actually see we're coming up north, so it's perfect. We can expect runway 5, which is right here because our parking spot is right here at Vista Cargo. Um, so that's what we're going to plan. We're just going to plan runway 5 for the arrival. So we'll come down here. We'll go to YYZ. Go to STARS. We're going to plan for the ILS runway 5. We're going to be on the... Uh, the Nuber 3 arrival. Nuber 6, sorry. Nuber 6 arrival. There it is. Uh, we're going to take that via the query transition. And I don't know if we need Zygum. Where does that take us? Nuber for runway 5 takes us out to Dolpa, and if we go to our approaches here today, ILS runway 5, pin that, scroll over here, have a look-see, ILS runway 5's got him from Zygum, but we don't want to take that because you can see Dolpa is the actual last waypoint, so we're just going to use none, so we'll go ahead and insert that, beautiful, scroll through our flight plan, we'll make sure we don't have any discontinuities, which we don't, beautiful, that looks good to me, I will go back to my init ref tab, wonderful, um, cost index initially will be five, and we'll go ahead and throw some weights in here. So if we click on our zero fuel weight, 120.9, good block fuel, we're going to call that 12, good. Um, and then our zero fuel weight CG, that's really the only thing we need. Max zero fuel weight CG, 30.3, we'll call that. <coughs> Pardon me, 30.3, we'll throw that up into there. Beautiful, cool. 
That looks good to me. It says optimum cruise level is 340. We're going to be cruising up at 35. Perfectly fine with that. Great. Cool. Let's go to our takeoff and departure page. Let's go grab some numbers up here as well. We'll go to our takeoff performance calculator. We are departing 35 left. We'll sync that up. There's our weights. We'll calculate our speeds. Flexes, V1s, good. Uh, flexing 63, 153, 163, 163. So 153, 163. And then once we've got APU, we'll set up the FCU. Beautiful. Cool. Speaking of APUs, spool that bad boy up. We're almost done boarding. You can see them loading up the cargo on that side of the aircraft. Do they do anything on that side? They don't. Okay, so we can close all those doors, I think. Ground equipment, we'll close those doors. We don't need them open. Beautiful. Andy, good to see you, man. Cap, are you live streaming right now? Uh, yes. Is this a round tip or just one flight? Just one flight today, Andrew. Um, the last couple Thursday evening streams that we've done, they've gone, like, way too long, man. So, uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to start focusing on on these Sunday streams is looking for, like, sorry, Sunday. These Thursday evening streams is just to find, uh, like, a route that has, like, full ETC. Because usually when you get full ETC, it can be a little bit longer for certain things, and one leg can get drawn out. Um, also, it's pretty late already, 7.30 p.m., approaching 8 o'clock at night. Um... I usually don't want to stream anything later than like 9, 30, 10. So I figured one leg will be perfect. And again, we can, we can kind of hunt down full ATC programs. So we know that every Thursday it's going to be out of Toronto. We're going to have full ATC out of Toronto. Now, usually when you get like a Toronto center online or a Boston or a New York center or something like that, you'll end up getting full ATC coverage wherever you fly out of. So that's kind of going to be the plan. Boarding has been complete. Beautiful. Let's come down here. Uh, we're going to close our door there. This is door in transit. Good. If we go upstairs, we'll see that the APU is on and available. Beautiful. Let's bump up our APU gen. Good. We'll go and get our pitch trims, yaw dampers, and ETSs to the on position. Beautiful. We'll get our APU bleed system on. You'll actually hear the pack system turn on now. Um, that is good. We can get our fuel pumps turned on. Beautiful. And everything looks good there. External power will get removed. We'll come down here. We'll remove the ground power. We'll remove the chocks. Good. We'll go and make sure that our park brake is set, which it is. Beautiful. We'll go to GSX, and we're going to prepare for pushback and departure. Nice. Let's go bring this guy up here. We're going to go to our tune page, and we are going to throw in our squat code that they would like us. Squat code was... 3013. 3013. Aircraft is a little bit loud right now, sorry. There we go. 3013 on the squawk, and then we can click on our squawk and we'll make sure that the squawk is T A R A. Beautiful. Tune back to the tune page. Good. We've got ground online, which is going to be 1217. So we'll tune 1217. Get that ready to go. 1217 is set there. Good. And then we just need COM2. Tune this guy. Uh, actually, we can leave COM2 on 1228. That's fine. Beautiful. Decision height. We'll throw in minus 5. Uh, cleared strut 5. Maintain 5,000 feet initially. So we're going to go 5,000 feet initially. We are departing on 3.5. So we're going to be good pilots. And we'll bug up our runway heading. And then our FCU speed was 163, I believe. So we'll bug up 163, and we'll just confirm that on our takeoff calculator. Uh, 163, good. And then we have 0 0.2, and then we've got a flex of 63. Wonderful. All right, good. Nice little st uh, quicken startup procedures here. Ready to go. Hello, what kind of resolution do you play at? 1920 by 1080. Let's go to nose left facing west. Good. I'm going to confirm that we don't have anybody behind us. I'm not going to push into anybody, which we're not. Beautiful. Park brake will get released. Beautiful. Let's go upstairs. Let's go start system A, APU bleed systems. You'll hear the bleed system turn off. Let's go and get our beacon light on. We'll also make sure that we start our block time as we start our pushback. Beautiful. Let's go upstairs. Let's spool up engine numero two. I'll turn the sounds up for you here. What will the next flight be? Next flight is on Saturday, and we're going to be back in the uh, PMDG 737-800 doing some Ryanair ops out of Dublin. Dublin, Ireland. Ireland. 
Let's wait for 21% N2 before we introduce fuel. There it is. We'll introduce fuel now. Give you guys a nice little wing view. Sar Brigger, Freak. Thank you for your support, Freak. Appreciate you, man. Huge no floaties to you. Welcome up in the business class, man. Thank you very much for your support. Very, very kind of you. Thank you very, very much. Skipping Friday. I never stream on Friday, Winter Splash. That should not be news. Thursday, two streams on Thursday. Stream Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I have never streamed on Fridays. Cap, why do you put minus five in the decision height on takeoff? I do not know. All I know is a real world A300 pilot told me that that's what they do on departure. They said minus five on the decision height. I couldn't tell you why. If somebody in chat may know better than I do, but unfortunately I cannot tell you why. I just, I just know that. Hey Cap, just ready to do my Vatson flight with a 7.3 after being uh, in the Airbus. How exactly do you squawk mode C? Do I set the knobs to T-A-R-A, correct? Yeah, just like you would in Airbus, man. Correct Mungo. Just joined as you said, you're flying out of Dublin. Hope all is well, sir. Good to see you, Kyle. Yes, Saturday we're going to be doing some Ryanair. Ryanair. In and out of Dublin. We haven't visited Dublin in a good little bit, so we'll visit Dublin on Saturday. All right, let's go ahead and spool up engine numero uno. After a good start on number two, we are using the uh, Pratt Whitney P4000s on this aircraft today. Again, N2 percentage is rising. We're looking for about 21%. You'll see it actually like cuts off at 21% as it waits for fuel to get introduced. So here comes 21%, and we shall introduce fuel. Give you guys a nice little wing view. <coughs> Dublin, Ireland. If Cap slams it on Saturday, I'll donate four hundred dollars. <laughs> well, we are flying Ryanair, so. You know. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Left is clear. You set the decision right height clear. to minus five to prevent the plane from calling out minimums on takeoff. Andy coming in with the clutch. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate it, man. There you go. That's why. Kyle, my man, six months. Appreciate you, dude. Says quick six months. Keep up the great work, my man. Huge enough floaties to you, Kyle. Thank you very much for supporting the streams, dude. Appreciate you, man. Six months, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Incredibly kind, dude. Will you be getting the 7.3 Max when it's released? Yes, Boeing fan. You keep asking me if I'm going to be getting these airplanes. I'll tell you what, man. I'm going to be getting every single airplane when it gets released for the simulator that is of value. So, yes, I will be getting the PMGG 747, the 777, the 737 Max. Yes. Any plane that is valuable and worth my time and effort and money, I will be I will be buying it. Yes, absolutely. I'll be flying the 787 from London Heathrow to Sydney on Saturday. There you go. Nice. Very cool. Joan of Arc, good to see you, my friend. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Sim update is tentatively scheduled to release on April 30th with the A320 Neo V2. There you go. No, you're fine, boy. It's just you keep like, yes, I, I'll, I'll be flying... I'm a full-time content creator here on Microsoft Flight Simulator, so if there's a plane of value that we deem is going to be worth it to pick up, I will absolutely pick it up, man. Yeah, absolutely. Slats and flaps, 15 degrees. Give you a beautiful view of the flaps. Coming out. Any good 787s coming? Not really, man. Not that have been announced, at least. Alrighty, looking good there. Beautiful. Let's go upstairs. Let's go ahead and ignition system to continuous relight. We'll get the probe heats on. Good. APU bleed system turns off. APU system goes off. Flip over to Gen 1. Good. Um, Seatbelt signs on. Everything looks good there. Set and checked. Beautiful. We need a trim value of down 0 0.2. Down 0 0.2 is there. Good. I saw Yeti in here. Yeti, what did you say? I saw him in earlier. I think I missed it. I don't know where Yeti is. Yeti, if I missed what you said, so I did. Um, good. Cap, why are you such an amazing content creator? Well, I wouldn't necessarily... I don't know, man. I don't consider myself an amazing content creator. I consider myself just an average content creator. Uh, I, I really enjoy what I do, and I think that that speaks volumes to the content that I put out. I, uh, I have a lot of fun doing this, man. I have a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. Flight sim is my my passion, um, and I'm very lucky to to be able to share that with you guys, man. I think that's that's really the key. Again, I always say it, man. Without you guys here and supporting and, and, and hanging out with me, it's not as fun, right? So, um, 
Yeah. All right, park brake is released. We are squawking. Let's pull ourselves forward. We're coming out of ramp. Uh, what ramp are we in, chat? We are in Rampo... Rampo Cucamonga. Uh, where are we? Out of ramp three. Ready to taxi. Got the weather. What is the weather again? Atis is Delta. All right, let's give him a call. Ground hello, UPS 488 coming out of ramp 3 with info Delta ready to taxi 35 left. UPS 488, uh, global ground, thank you for Delta. Taxi to 35 left via. Taxi to 35 left via Bravo 5, Bravo, Bravo 1. All right, 35 left, Bravo 5, Bravo, Bravo 1, UPS 40. Right, Bravo 5, which is here, to Bravo, to Bravo 1. Good. Very good. Hey, there's Yeti. Did I miss anything, Yeti, earlier? I saw you, you mentioned in chat. I know you, you work here, so it's is this, is this what Yeti's been dealing with all day? It's beautiful weather. Kevel's a trading card business going? I gave up. I retire. Uh, shit. Chat, 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 chat. That was really weird. My rudder pedals aren't working. Why you no turn? Look. It's no turn. Uh, Hold on. UPS 486 Heavy, global ground. Uh, please confirm you have Delta on board. Yes, we have Delta 446. Great, thanks. UPS 486, uh, thanks to Delta, and taxi runway 35 left behind the company A306, Bravo 5, Bravo, Bravo 1. Don't you crash, simulator. Don't you do it. Why? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. chat, no problem, settings, uh, rudder controls, to why is that turned off? Why? Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Nothing to see here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Must be livery specific or something. Must be, Andy. I don't know. That's news to me, but hey, we're okay, chat. No problem. We were literally about to just go. I was like sitting there trying to move the rudder pole. I was like, uh, nothing's happening. I looked at my... <laughs> looked to make sure all of my peripherals were turned on. Indeed, they are turned on. We blame Dan. Schmitty cut the wires. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're going to go nav track profile climb 163. We'll pre select. Uh, wait, no, pre select, and then we're going to bug up. What was our clean speed? Uh, clean speed. It doesn't give you clean speed, does it? We're just going to bug up 240 clean speed. There we go. I blame Dan. Dan just tuned in. Has to be Dan's fault. All right, right on Bravo. Nothing to see here, chat. Rudder pedals are working now. We're all good to go. What a setup. It's not even April 1st, Dan. I know. Dan just wanted us to fail this evening, I think. That's all that that was. Dan was like, you know what? I've had enough of these smooth taxis. I'm vetoing this. I'm going to make sure this doesn't work. Clean speed in the box. Got it. I think leads 220. <coughs> VTO, I think is what it is, isn't it? Uh, it should say down here. VTO, 216 plus 10, I like to put. So, 226 would be clean speed. VTO plus 10. 
Joe, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Happy Thursday evening to you, my friend. Oh, shit. Dan's angry. No. Have you ever met Mr. Daniel Barry? I don't think it's possible for Daniel to be angry. Daniel is like a kind soul. He does not really get angry. He just tells me to fuck off, and then I go, oh, okay, sorry. Also, what happened to my... Oh, because I unplugged my... Yes, we have to do slats and flaps again because I unplugged everything thinking that my rudder pedals weren't plugged in. What's new? Why you take off? Huskers, what's up, my man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing all right. Kevin, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back as well. Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, departure frequency is, I believe, in the center on 11955. 11955. Chat, did everybody stutter, study their VORs? 109. 488 heavy, contact departure 119.55. Over departures 11955. Thanks for your TC, man. You have a great night as well. UPS 488 heavy. All right, 11955, everybody, did you all study your VORs off of departure? Because if you didn't, well, then you're in trouble. And he's had a good uh, evening, UPS 488, holding short 35 left, Ooh, ready for departure. UPS 488, runway 35 left, cliff takeoff, wind 31012, go. 22. 35 left, cleared for takeoff, sounds fun, UPS 488 heavy. All right. We're all set up here, chat. Cleared for takeoff. We'll enter the runway. Toby Eye Tracker coming in very nicely. Very handy when lining up to the runway. Cool. Joystick cam's going on. Sounds are going up. Let's get the hell out of here, shall we, friends? Throttles to 40%. Good. Chrono on on my side. Let's go fly in Toga. It's like nose down pressure. Sheesh. Take off power set. Airspeed is alive. That's my fault. Leveled off 35. I'll reset it. 100 knots. We're neutral. I go a little bit into the wind here, not much, just a little bit into the wind. V1, rotate. Ooh, nice and smooth because that wind correction chat. Bosnia brake, gears going up. Oh, there's some gusties. Oh, yes, yes. <coughs> Flight battles, what's up, mate? Good to see you, dude. I did do block time, Dan. Yes, I actually remembered. Alright, let's go flap retraction. going to call us airborne now. UPS 488, radar contact fail. Passing through 3000, UPS 488 heavy. UPS 488. 220, UPS flap retraction, UPS slap retraction, sir. 13000, UPS 488 heavy. All right, 13000 for us on the climb. Keep her going. Look good, chat. Oh, we are. Digital, what's up, my man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope we're doing well, man. Alrighty. 4,000 feet per minute climb. We like it. Welcome to flying the E300. 5,000 feet, and we are in absolute soup. Chat, autopilot's going on. We're letting him do all the hard work. Beautiful. Look at us go. Nose light is off. I actually really liked the crosswind uh, on that one. It felt really good. Again, you don't need a whole lot, especially with with an aircraft this big, with this big of a wing and ailerons. You don't have to like go crazy uh, into wind. 
but um, yeah, felt good on departure. We maintained center line very nicely. Lock the gear. Uh, runway turnoffs are off. Um, nose light is off, and our wing lights are off as well. UPS 488, climb and maintain level 270. Climb 270, UPS 488 heavy. All right, 270, 27,000 feet, set and checked. Good. FI weather in Toronto is, oh yes, we were looking at it earlier. Three mile visibility is what we're looking at. Toronto weather, uh, 0903. So, I mean, the winds were not going to be the issue. It's the three mile visibility broken at 300, overcast at 3,000. Give you $1,000 if you ask direct to that VOR. <laughs> hey, uh, I know it's not on my flight plan, but uh, you think I could go direct Oscar, Oscar, Mike? Oom. I'm feeling a little oomy today. <laughs> Look at this breakout chat. Here she goes. Slight breakout. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Weather around here is uh, not very bueno. Cap, when taking off in the A300, do you pitch the nose up or down during the climb? Uh, what do you mean? Usually you would have the aircraft trimmed out to the point where you don't have to have like a crazy constant back pressure. Um, but yeah, a little bit of back pressure. 10,000 feet, landing lights are coming off. Ignition switch is off. Seatbelt signs are staying on because it's clearly still a little bit bumpy out there. And everything looks good. We're pressurizing. Probes are on, window heat's on. Everything looks good, Jet. All good to go for the climb. Speed is increasing to 310 knots. Definitely bumpy out there, though. Look at that wingtip bouncing out there. UPS 486 radar contact altitude 4,000. Taking the daughter to San Juan, uh, Puerto Rico, Saturday for a week. First time for her should be a good time. Hey, Huskers, nice, man. Enjoy, dude. Refresh top of screen. Thank you. I wonder why it's not working. Reconnect. Should be good now. There we go. Nice little reconnection. Cap, when you go to the yoke cam, it doesn't show the fancy transition. It just fades. Yeah. Yeah, it's only when we bring it back. When you go to yoke cam, it's just supposed to be a nice little fade transition like that. That is correct. It's always been like that. And then when you switch it back out, it does the nice fancy transition. <clears throat> How much weed did you have today? Not enough. Not enough. Why do some streamers have two PCs? Um, the video quality would be the main reason to go for a dual PC setup. It also allows the gaming PC to focus on gaming and the stream PC to focus on streaming. So you get better performance out of your gaming computer than if you were to do everything off one computer. It's the best way I can describe it and explain it. Never enough. We're about to make a big old right turn and head directly straight north up to Toronto. The flight plan here, chat. It's pretty funny. You go Louisville, you track basically northwest, and then you just hang a huge right turn, and you actually kind of go back, track a little bit uh, northeast, I guess. Northeast would be the best way to describe that. Anything less than three grams of weed a day, and I'd say Cap is not feeling well. Uh, yeah, I would, con I would concur with that. Yeah. Yeah, five, six nice joints. Yeah. Have a spare laptop with good networking and nice speed, so I use that in my stream laptop. Sure, yeah, nothing wrong with that, man. Again, all you're doing is you're taking the added stress, right? Like video encoding and all that, like running OBS, video encoding, it's quite intensive on your GPU and your system, not just your GPU. Um, but you know, OBS takes resources, CPU, GPU, RAM. So if you can offload all of that from your gaming PC and put it on its own computer. Yeah. I get it why you wear glasses. Part of the reason. How do you separate the stream to a different computer? Uh, usually with a capture card underdog. That's the easiest way, the simplest way. It's also one of the more expensive ways, <clears throat> but it's also the I would say the most proficient way of doing it would be to have a dedicated capture card. 
So if you put in, if you want to check the link in the description or down all the way in the description, or alternatively, you can put exclamation point stream PC in chat. It'll tell you exactly what I'm using for that. Yeah, so I have an Elgato, Elgato 4K capture card. <laughs> That's what really allows you to kind of uh, take advantage of that, if you will. 18,000 feet standard barometric pressure. Push B across the board on all those guys. There we go. Beautiful. Climbing through 19,000 up to 27,000, what we've been cleared to. If you upgrade your gaming PC, are you going to use your current gaming PC as a streaming PC? No, Steve. Um, that's the beauty of a streaming PC is if you do get a dedicated capture card, your stream PC doesn't need to be very beefy. This current stream PC that we built, uh, what, last winter, so just over a year ago, um, this thing would probably last me five, six, seven, ten years. There's no need to swap it out. Um, the stream PC does not, like, it, it, it just needs basically a functioning graphics card, a CPU, and some RAM, and you're good to go. It, it does not need to be good specs. No, it would be way too overkill for me to take my current gaming PC and make that a stream PC. There's no need for that. Just got a new desk and my TCA yoke won't fit now. The metal frame is like a quarter inch too thick. Have to jerry rig something to make it fit. Ugh, that sucks, John. Best of luck jerry rigging. I know what that's like. What about the gaming PC? What about it? That will get upgraded at some point. Yes, absolutely. Capture card goes into the streaming PC or the gaming? Stream PC. So, you know how like in your gaming computer, you'd have like a... a, a uh, an HDMI or, a, or something that would go out to a monitor. Basically what happens is the gaming PC has an HDMI that goes directly out from the GPU to the stream PC and it goes into the capture card. So the stream PC is capturing the video and audio directly from the gaming PC. That's how it works. It's really cool, man. It's yeah, really cool because, like, you know, uh, years and years and years ago, th that wouldn't be a thing. He only gave us 270, but I don't know if he meant 370. UPS 488, climb and maintain, but it'll 350. Climb maintain 350, UPS 488, thanks. There we go. There's our climb, 350. My brain hurts. Dude, listen. Do you know how long Dan was telling me to do something like this and how many years... It took Dan convincing me that I needed a streaming PC. Dude, I, I still like shake in my boots a little bit thinking about what if something goes wrong. Like, bro, I'm so up shit's creek without a paddle. I don't know what the hell I'm doing when it comes to this shit, dude. I really don't. Um, thankfully, I have Les O'Reilly and thankfully I have Dan who I can basically call and contact at any point unless it's like in the middle of the night. Um, but yeah, dude, it, trust me, man, it's... I, I put it off for a very long time because I just, I'm not technologically advanced to do stuff like that. Like, I'm really not. Um, so, I'm glad I finally did it, though. I'm glad I bit the bullet. Man, look at the weather down there. It's crazy. I'm glad I bit the bullet, and I'm glad I did it because, in my opinion, the stream quality is, it's beautiful. Uh, there's, like, no loss of frame. There's no loss of video quality. We obviously know what's going on with the sound sometimes. <clears throat> we haven't been able to figure out exactly why that happens. It happened earlier, Dan, and you got blamed heavily, by the way, just to let you know. <clears throat> Where the entire sound goes robotic. We have a we have a we have a hunch of why it's doing it, but we haven't been able to like, okay, this is definitively the reason why it's doing it. Um, I think it has something to do with the audio interface that I'm using. It like upscales the audio to studio quality and OBS doesn't like that. So, yeah. Is this a member stream? Uh, nope. Good to see you, Bacon. Wait, I'm on call for the middle of the night? Well, sometimes, Dan. Sometimes, you know. I mean, Dan and I have spent many nights at 1, 2, 3 in the morning trying to figure out what the fuck we did to the computer and why it's not working properly. Especially when we... Uh, Especially when we first built it. Oh my god, dude, the amount of troubles that we had. We were driving around computer stores all over Ottawa looking for, uh... Remember, Dan, what did we have to look for? An isolation cable? Remember the ground loop cable? Because there was like a, an audio hum going on? 
and we had to spend good money and we got a isolation loop um yeah, it's, again i would have never known what i was doing if it wasn't for less and dan here figuring it out with me what's the command for the gaming pc specs uh just exclamation point specs It's definitely the sample. Uh, Indianapolis conversation. It's definitely the sample sample frequency, Dan. I do agree with you. That was. Yeah. That was so next audio cool. interface that we decide to go with, yeah, we won't be uh, doing any actually, crazy things like that. I'm not going to buy a new one, obviously, but we'll see. You're actually late my airspace. Kansas City's closed. Frequency change approved. Have a good night. Kansas City. Um, uh, for a Skywest or something. Four. Good night. Skywest. Why Sky West out here? Does Sky West fly out here? I thought it was always uh, Republic or those guys. Because it's all the sounds, not just the mic. Yes, correct. That's why it's the. That's why it's the it's it's the the mix coming out of it. He kept sorry. I've been so inactive. I got a job at Chick Fil A now, working like twenty five hours a week plus high school senior year. Been busy as hell. Hey. Send me some fucking Chick-fil-A sauce, please. I'll give you my address. Just send me a box of Polynesian and Chick-fil-A sauce. Thank you very much. Congratulations on the job. You now work for God's Chicken. Uh, I'm a little bit jealous. I, I would be slamming Chick-fil-A sandwiches every day. He kept another stream of me driving home uh, from two shifts. Hey, Ray, what's up, my man? Hope you're feeling good, dude. Don't work too hard, Ray, man. Shit, dude. You work your ass off over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Cap, I have connections with Chick-fil-A. Oh. <coughs> Guess what's right across the street from the Rio in Las Vegas? Chick-fil-A. Guess who's going to be going and getting Chick-fil-A probably when he shouldn't be? This guy. Guess who's going to die of indigestion the entire week when he's in Vegas? This guy. The buffalo sauce, good. Thursday's good, LM. How are you, man? I got you. Give me that address. I get free food every shift. I got some chicken nuggets and large fries last time. Man. Chick-fil-A chicken nuggies? That is some good stuff right there, man. Uh, I, w I had Chick-fil-A twice on my trip to Plattsburgh last week. Man, when I went to go do my uh, Nexus interview, I was really hoping that, like, Ogdensburg had a Chick-fil-A and I could just go in there and... Ogdenburg doesn't have anything, dude. Nothing good. They only have the Walmart Supercenter. You can't get... Ch I guess I could get Chick-fil-A sauce at the Walmart Supercenter. <gasps> I might have to take a drive down to the U.S. so I can go get some Chick-fil-A sauce at the Walmart Supercenter. Does Chick-fil-A still sell all their, their sauces in Walmart, chat? Is the snow finally melting? Ah, David, snow's been gone for a while, man. Address is CYYZ. Go knocking on all the doors. Yeah, only a few million people. Flying over from the UK again for the expo. See you there. Hey, Chas, nice, dude. Sweet. Looking forward to it, man. I will be there, my friend. Have you seen Chick-fil-A uh, sauce meme? Mm, I don't know. Probably, but I don't know which one. You see them at all uh, retail places? Okay. Hmm. May have to go for a little bit of a drive. Once I get my Nexus card, may have to go for a drive. Hey. 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 Hey.
But I'm thinking about going with the fiance, Andy, who doesn't have it, so I have to be careful with that. Are there import fees for that kind of stuff? Um, well, I'm going for the afternoon, so I'd probably be able to spend, I think it's $100. I think it's $100 I can spend without having to pay any like import tax or anything like that. So yeah, I could probably spend 100 bucks on sauce and chips alone down in the US. My grandpa do the creator of a Chick-fil-A, the creator lives 25 minutes uh, away from you. I'll send you a pic on the Discord. Damn, really? It's kind of crazy. Now, if Kane started selling their sauce, it would be uh, penniless in seconds. Dude, Kane sauce is pretty good. I will agree. $100 on sauce? John, John, no problem, dude. Absolutely no problem. The only problem would be getting through all of that, you know? I got a Chick-fil-A spot next to the airport. You know where I go every time I plane spot? Ah, man. Lucky, dude. GPS he lives 25 minutes from Atlantic, you. Washington yeah, okay. I was going to say, not from me. $100 on sauce is a sign that you're fat. Hey, man, ain't nobody GPS pretending I ain't fat, Mike. I can promise you that. My fat ass loves sauce. I got no problem talking about it. Popeyes is good. Yeah, I'm actually... Uh, I think I'm going to Popeyes tomorrow with the fiance. She's been talking about this. They have a new buffalo chicken poutine. She's been fucking blowing my ear off about it. <laughs> fucking women, man. She's like the healthiest, most like fit person I've ever met. But then randomly she'll see a commercial for something online and be like, I need to have this. I don't, no question, shirt, no problem, let's go. I think we're going tomorrow. I'll send a picture if I do. Mary Brown's superior to Popeye's? Ooh, I don't know about that, Andy. I don't know about that. I think they have their own places, Andy. Trust me, Mary Brown's is good. But I think Popeye's in general, like, come on, it's Popeye's, man. Popeye's slaps. That's good shit. Mary Brown's is good, too. Trust me, it is. But I think if I'm choosing, I think I'm going with, like, Popeye's 9 out of 10 times. So. Congrats on the engagement. Just got engaged yourself. Congrats, man. Very cool, dude. Thank you. Best poutine you've ever ate? Uh, dude, northern Quebec, butt fuck middle of nowhere. Uh, some little poutine stand on the side of the road. The lady used to soak the potatoes in a brown sugar water. So when she cooked the potatoes, they had like just that little extra bit of sweetness and they like caramelized. They did something weird, dude. <sighs> I still dream about those poutines, man. Still dream about that poutine. That was uh, a special. Special. PEI potatoes, obviously the best. 100%. I agree with you on that one. Detroit, uh, Detroit Wing Company has a good poutine. Oh, there we go. I'm keeping my words to myself about eating the poutine. Assuming you visit the Walmart in Ogdensburg, New York, they got both sauces. That's the one, Yeti. That's the one in about an hour and 20 minutes away from me. So I'm going to have to make a little visit down to Ogdensburg. Yes, sir. We can buy uh, the creator of Chick-fil-A's house for 5.1 million. No. Cow chips, dude. How the fuck do you know about cow chips? My man, light speed. Good shit, dude. Good shit, man. Yep. Cow chips, cow butter. The cow, the cow sea salt butter, dude. Best butter in the world. Like, right up there with Kerry Gold. Like, it's the best butter in the world, man. Cows, chips. <laughs> it's hilarious, dude. Yep. And their cloth-bound cheddar. If you like aged cheddar cheese, get their cloth-bound cheddar. Crack. Absolute crack. Um, I'm going to bump up our cost index here a little bit, friends, to 55, now that we're at cruise altitude. Just sent it to you on Discord. Take a look. Uh, the property is huge. The house is beautiful. It's a full bar on the inside. Well, I would hope so for $5.1 million. U.S., absolutely. I could eat three Chipotle burritos back to back to back with ease. Jesus. You're calling me fat ass? There's some damn good local fried chicken places here in Chicago. I don't doubt it. Listen, dude, every city, every city that I've been to down in the U.S. has had absolute... I mean, dude, I had some of the best food I've ever had when I was in, when I was in San Diego... I, I, I had some amazing food when we were down in Houston. I don't doubt that Vegas is going to blow me out of the... Vegas is going to be wild, man. Vegas is going to be crazy. Used to be able to eat two foot longs from Subway? Yeah, you were a Subway champion. 
I don't know if I could do that now, man. I mean, maybe if I'm hungry. Actually, yeah, I probably could. If I was super hungry, yeah. The last time I did anything like that, I didn't eat all day. I ate a large uh, pastrami Reuben from Firehouse Subs, and then I ate a small pastrami Reuben as well. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's my skinny ass on 120 pounds. Hey, man, keep eating those poutines. Poutine. Well, the cookies from Subway, hmm, they're okay. I don't know. I find them like Number almost like too mushy contact, sometimes. Center, I eat an insane amount of food, but somehow I'm not fat. Hey, that means eight. you got the metabolism. You're like my fiance, dude. This girl could literally eat me under the table and she wouldn't gain a pound. Some people are lucky, man. Some people just got the metabolism. Some people, they can burn it off quicker than they, uh, than they keep it on, man. What are your thoughts on the Fly-By-Wire 380? I think it'll be good when it releases. I don't know when it's going to release, but... Mr. Sub. Mr. Sub used to be good. We used to have a bunch of them around here when I was growing up. Not so much anymore. Subway is the Olive Garden of sub shops. Yeah, sure. I, I'd go with that one. They have their place, right? Driving to uh, Detroit to Montreal next month. Nice. How long is that drive, Craig? Down to Detroit. I guess that's pretty far. A couple, what, five, six hours? Maybe longer? Indianapolis Center, American Picking 30, climbing flat level 1, 3,000. Indianapolis Center, American, 15, American 30, 1370. Check again. Unlucky when I'm trying to wait it up. Yeah. American 15, 30. Used to be like that. Now I'm in my 30s. Now I'm fat. <laughs> I hear you, Strody. I hear you, man. Went to Myrtle Beach last month. Uh, tried ordering an extra large double double. They looked at me like, what are you saying? <laughs> uh, yep. They're like, wait, what? Hey, this ain't Canada, eh, you hoser? Lost weight on a 4K calorie day. Jesus, dude. We need some Emirates Toronto to Dubai when the Fly by Wire releases. I'm sorry, but what the crap is poutine? Oh, sir. Sir, sir, sir. Poutine is a Canadian delicacy. Poutine. This is poutine, my friend. Looks like absolute shit. You're probably like, dude, what are you going on about? Poutine, man. And you know when you get a real good poutine is when the fries look like this. That's what I'm talking about. They have that, like, dark color, almost like caramelization to it. You know damn well this is probably the best poutine on this page that I'm looking at right now. Anybody that knows poutine, this is... Dude, I can't explain to you when you're young and you're growing up and you're, you're drinking, you're partying, go for the next day, you have a poutine, it's life-changing. feel like a new man. Unicom, thanks for your TC, dude. Have a great evening. Uh, 48. All right. Yeah, poutine, man. I haven't had a proper poutine in a hot minute. But we got, uh, it's, it's summertime here in Canada, which means all the poutine trucks. The best poutine that you get in Canada are like the little trucks on the side of the road. You'll see them just parked at random places in a parking lot, at a golf course, at a driving range. That's where you get the goods, man. You get yourself a all-dressed hot dog, ketchup, mustard, relish, banana peppers, <clears throat> onions, all-dressed all dog. With a poutine on the side? <sighs> Respectfully, you would never touch that? Hey, listen, man, I'm telling you. I know it doesn't look like the most appealing thing in the world. <clears throat> it is... There is something special that happens when you mix the fries with fresh gravy and cheese curds. It creates this sweet, salty, savory... Listen, I, I always tell you guys, don't knock it till you try it. Poutine is one of those things. Looks like somebody puked on a plate in front of you. I get it. But trust me, it doesn't taste like that, man. That is... You ask anybody that has had a poutine, it's almost impossible to find somebody that would be like, yeah, I'd never have that again. No, thank you. That's why Quebecois are better. Uh, easy there, Quebecois. Jen said it's heaven. Oh, it is. 100%. 100%. Like I said, especially if you've had a few cocktails... And that's what you're wrapping your night up with or the next day when your body is just craving carbs and sugar and salt. <sighs> There's nothing better. Nothing better. There used to be a, uh, I know this is going to sound really weird. 
there was a place growing up when I we would we would all go out drinking and partying and they had what's called they had like a honey garlic poutine and I know it sounds disgusting but again it's one of those things I don't know what they did like they had like their own teriyaki like garlic sauce and they would mix it with the gravy and they would put it on it dude again I don't know like what kind of weird science is going on but like man it was special it, it was a special experience. You couldn't do it every time. No way you could do it every time. But, like, man. Deskets, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. The cheese curds are good, but the word curd isn't appetizing. You can go with that one. Yeah. Used to do that at White Castle. Oh, baby. Ecap, can't wait for tomorrow. I'm upgrading to a 2070 that I've since release. Tomorrow I'm getting the 4070 Ti. Super can't wait. Fly high and stable FPS. Nice, dude. Congratulations on your purchase. Wish you all the best of that, man. The best is when they add meat like braised short ribs. Oh, John, that's that's when you start getting delicacies. <laughs> yes, sir. That's the good good coming up. Nice little tailwind right now, chat. Look at our ground speed. 516 knots across the ground. Looking real good. Definitely a hangover cure. Oh, 110%. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Chat, remember, if you haven't done so, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up. Do you think we can hit 150 likes by the end of the stream? That would be extremely kind. If you haven't done so and you are enjoying the content, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up. Appreciate y'all being here, man. And it was a busy day out there. Uh, lots of other streams going on, so thanks for hanging out with me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Louisville up to Toronto with, of course, our shitty weather. Should be a good one. The weather, actually, I think over the next, like, two days over here, I think like through to the weekend it's just gross if you guys want to see something crazy look at the weather radar right now look at this let me go here and let me go to weather look, look at the weather radar right now just this massive cell pushing through over the next couple days and the jet stream is all messed up right now things are almost like swirling uh it's real weird i am up here I am, I am in this right now. Where the hell am I? Chat, where am I? I'm up here. This is all pushing towards me. All of this. Nasty. Excuse me. Nastiness is pushing up towards me. No bueno. When are you going to fly the 350 again? Uh, whenever we get a 350 for Microsoft, because I highly doubt I'll launch x in. Yeah. Have you heard anything new on the 777? Nope. We have not. Had 40 mile hour winds and gusts last night knocked the power out a few times. Eesh. Yeah, it's nasty. I think tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day too. Uh, weather. Radar map. Oh yeah, we're about to get absolutely smashed. I mean, at least it's actually looks like it's pushing north, northeast. But oh yeah, we're going to be in the tomorrow's just going to be nasty. It's going to be on and off all day. What are they actually calling for? Are they calling for the next couple days? What is it? Uh, seven days. Rain on Friday. Lots of rain tomorrow. Lots of rain on Saturday. And it looks like things are clearing up Sunday and Monday. But yeah, tons of rain tomorrow. 20 millimeters expected tomorrow that's uh yeah uh lots of rain saturday is going to be cold e weird then it's warming up it's crappy weather down here in kingston yeah yeah i think for the next couple days it is captain robbins have you ever considered becoming a controller i have canoe yeah at least it's not the white stuff damn right had enough of that uh, how was your meeting, Monsieur Jarvis? Everything good? Air Canada did a pop-up poutinery in Boston back in 2019. Eight or ten different flavors. Really? Interesting, Craig. I had no clue. That's kind of cool, actually. I had no clue they'd do stuff like that. Hello, Cap. Love the streams. Keep up the good work. Elvis, thank you, man. Appreciate the kind words. Mofo, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. It's nasty here in upstate New York this morning. Uh, definitely headed your way. Yeah, absolutely. Fly daddy I would agree. Quick at the ETC license and then the VATSIM training. Dude, I wish it was that simple, man. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it, but um, I want to do it in Toronto. 
Like, if I'm going to do it, Captain Canada, I'm going to, like, you know, I'm going to gonna try and get into Toronto. The last I checked, it was over a year of wait list to start your training in Toronto. So, um, maybe I can look into getting it somewhere else and then transfer, like, doing my training, getting my S rating, and then bringing it over to Toronto if they'll allow that. I don't know. I have to look into it. <clears throat> Take care, Captain Lee. Have a great, uh, have a great evening, man. Enjoy your flight, dude. Just a consultation. All good. Good, 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 good. I was gonna say they're not gonna bend you over even more with a mortgage, right? Because <sighs> how's the GPU doing with these high up clouds today? Uh, perfectly fine. You know what? Actually, I, I, um, I took my PC case apart and I actually gave it like a deep clean. My temps have been just real nice lately, man. Ever since the clean. Like, rarely get even above, like, 50, 60 degrees now. You can see they're both kind of hovering at about 50 degrees. Uh, I did a deep clean of the PC case. It was pretty bad, actually. I didn't realize how bad it was. I did that to my CPU, and it's helped so much. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, man. Clean off the fans. Get all the... Get all the... Uh, the... Um, the dust guards and stuff off and spray everything down and blow compressed air. I bought this thing, Schmitty actually. Schmitty suggested this thing. Instead of compressed air, it's just like, uh, I forget what it is on Amazon, but. <laughs> thing is insane. Insane. And it is, uh, yeah, pretty badass. It replaces uh, compressed canned. Yeah. IT Tech here. Yeah. A dust every fall and spring. Yeah. Smart. Smart. You have that one too. It's awesome. Dude, it's the best. How often should you change the thermal paste on a CPU? It's a great question. Um, if you buy really good thermal paste college, dude, I'm a, one of those believers that you shouldn't really have to do it. If you're buying like cheap or you're just using the thermal paste that comes with the CPU, maybe every year or two, I don't know. Um, I bought the Cryonaut, which is like some of the best. It's not the liquid metal, but the Cryonaut, I forget what it's called. Cryonaut sauce or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, it's one of the, one of the best rated um, thermal pastes. I haven't had to do it. My, my, and I've had this PC, this is three years now we're going on this one. And you saw my temperatures, like I'm not even getting above 50 degrees, 60 degrees. Thermal Grizzly, that's the one. Thank you, Jose. Hey, Cap, good to see you again, Sean. Welcome back, man. Hope all's well. Cleans your ears, too. <laughs> you go deaf while using it. Do not use liquid metal paste unless you know exactly what the fuck you're doing. 100%. Yes. So if you're like me, don't do it. <laughs> don't, don't do it. If done properly, I don't see a need to change unless you cook the CPU or something. Yeah, unless, like, you're running a, a heavy overclock as well now my cpu is overclocked so it's always running at 5.1 gig um but again the i bought good good thermal paste and i haven't had any issues i would say only if you're experienced higher than normal cpu temps then you would use it yep i would agree what's the strangest thing you've seen flying in microsoft flight sim uh probably not even flying on microsoft flight sim just flying on vat sim captain Noah is probably where the weird things happen what are your thoughts on the Unibuilds 310? Probably the best freeware airplane for any simulator ever. Right up there with like the Zebo mod for the 730, uh, the Zebo 737 for uh, Microsoft or for X plane, sorry. Toronto Center is online 12577. 12577. Let's tune to Tirana. Thank you. Where top of descent is about sixty miles. Just shy of eighty miles now. We'll tune to him soon. I replaced a ten-year-old paste and saw maybe a five-degree difference. Yeah, like I said, dude, if you're getting, if you're spending good money and you're getting good thermal paste, it's it. I've I've yet to run into a problem with it. But again, if you're using like the stuff that comes with your CPU, like from AMD or from from Intel, yeah, maybe a little bit more frequently, sure. Which runway are you using in Toronto? Uh, we're planning runway five. I don't think things have changed. Let me see if we have an update. No, winds are still zero nine zero three three mile visibility. Adis information, papa. 
and we just switched over into Toronto airspace, so we'll give them a call. Toronto Center, good evening, UPS 488 level 350. UPS 488, happy Toronto Center, hello, fuck, I did. I did. A do chat, how the f... How do we ident? Tuner, here. Uh, ident. Ident. Ident? Ident. <coughs> Control, uh, West hey, Zach, control. what's up, my man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Uh, Wait, so what is the strangest you thing you've seen on VATSIM? Oh, I don't know, dude. There's <laughs> so much shenanigans happening on VATSIM at all the time. It's wild, man. Quebec, and if we can, can we take runway 5 for parking UPS 480? UPS 488, have you done on a problem? Plan ILS 05. We'll play an ILS 05, thanks so much, UPS 488. Hey, chat, nice. I don't want to go on a mi taxi mission in Toronto. If we landed six right, we'd have to vacate. We'd have to go all the way up, all the way up to Vista Cargo. If we land on runway five, we're literally going to vacate like Hotel 3 or Bravo. And we can literally just vacate and go into Vista Cargo. Hey, that's what we want, chat. That's what we want. Whenever I get a new rig, I'm going to go over the top on cooling. Had nothing but issues with this current build. Yeah. Yeah. I always say it's, you know, spend the extra 50 60 $70. Get the bigger, you know, IAO or get, get the bigger fans or get the better cooler. Uh, like I said, man, in my opinion, it's worth it. Instead of spending $10 on thermal paste, spend 20 spend 30 you know. The spongy cheese from Quebec? Mmm. Vatsim is loaded with golden moments. I mean, think about how many we've seen over the years, dude. The amount of people crashing, the amount of people that have no clue how to fly their airplanes. Yeah. We can land on six right. Uh, as if we do, we pass over one of my family's houses. Very cool. But we're going to land runway five. We flew into Toronto the other day in the CRJ, and we landed on six right. So we're going to take runway five. It's kind of rare that we get runway five, so. We were at a problem with running SimLink and Sim Toolkit Pro at the same time. No, I have not, Sean. Not that I can think of. Wish I could flash or give some indication uh, the ident worked. Uh, well, it should actually. If you look at your client, um, Jfoot, if you hit the ident, I don't want to do it now because I don't want to ident again. But if you hit the ident button and you click it, you should also see the ident should light up on your client. Um, alter Four, six, five, 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 alternatively, right, if it's not three, working, zero, you can zero, always five, just five, hit three, the ident button here and that will ident for the client. It, they designed it around it not working with some airplanes. Some airplanes were, you know, in the, the early Vatsim days, they didn't include it and stuff like that, but you can always look there. Well, I've been that guy once. Going to go back to a few things. We'll see some streams uh, from PR Cap and chat. Hey, Huskers, take care, my man. Enjoy your trip, dude. I know you will, but enjoy it, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. When the A300 came out, it was crazy. Everyone was flying it. Now less and less people are flying it. Uh, I knew it from the beginning. Yeah, no, I was going that over earlier, man. It, it's kind of like, I feel like it's one of those airplanes where you either really like it, like you love it, or you, you kind of just don't like it. I feel there's no really in-between with the A300. You either really love it or you just, you're like, okay, nah, I'm okay. I don't need to fly it. You know what I mean? I feel there's no common ground. There's no in the middle. Uh, we're going to be back in the 737-800 this week is because I wanted to spend today at least streaming it and taking a look at the new Pratt & Whitney engines, but I understand that people would probably rather see me fly the 737 than, than fly this all week. Petition to bring back Bean Boozle challenge on stream. Ugh. I'll see if I can find some 777, but listen, bro, like, I'm going to be a dick about it, man. It's going to have to be, like, $5 donation or more. Like, no more of these two or dollar donations, whatever I used to do before. If I'm going to sit there and eat, like, puke-flavored jelly beans, that's got to be a $5 dono or more, man. Because, like, that's... Dude, some of those were rank. Like, rank. The the rotten milk? Bro, fuck. That shit is nasty. What was that one? There was rotten milk? What was the other one? There was another one. It was either chocolate pudding or something else. And it was like, like it gets stuck in your teeth and you taste it for 10 minutes and you're like, oh, dude, absolutely rank. 
Blech. Mm-mm. Was he calling me? Yeah, it was there was one rotten egg, but there was another one. It was like chocolate pudding or something, and it was just violently gross. Charles Center, uh, UPS 48, did we miss a call? UPS 48, have you? Nope. Uh, actually, one ready to 7520240. One ready, 240. Thanks so much, UPS 48. Wait, wait, wait. It only takes five dollars to get you to eat rotten eggs? No, Rhino, they're these. They're called bamboozled. Um, and they're they're like you spin a thing and it's jelly beans. And there's like half the flavor of jelly beans are like really good, and then half of the flavors are like absolutely disgusting. Like literally like puke flavored, rotten socks, rotten egg, vomit. Like it's nasty. And and chat, we used to have a game where you donate two dollars or more and I would eat a bamboozled on stream. So it'd either be a really good one or a really shitty one. Ugh. Can we donate for shots? No, unfortunately no. I do not drink. Not a drinker. Where do we sign up for this game? We're gonna bring it back on the channel. I'll order some. Hold on, can I order them on Amazon right now? Amazon. What are they called? Bean boozled? Bean boozled jelly bean game. I can. Do we do it, chat? Bean boozled mystery bean jelly bean set. How much is this? 16 bucks. How many do I get? Contains weird and wild flavors. The sixth edition. Oh no, dude. This one has liver and onions. Chat, I will fucking puke. <laughs> uh, liver and onions or cappuccino, old band-aids or pomegranate, rotten egg or buttered popcorn, toothpaste or berry blue, barf or peach. Chat, don't make me do this. For, uh, two, Please two, don't zero. make me do this. Stink uh, bug or toasted marshmallow. Leo. Boogers or juicy pear. <laughs> Dirty dishwater or birthday cake. Stinky socks or tutti frutti. Dead fish or strawberry banana. Delta, Lima, India, Mike. I can taste it already, chat. Don't make me do it. All right, there's another one. Um, does, does it say how many come with this one? Hold on. How many are in here? There's like no information about this. How big is this? Four, okay, so it's pretty big. Okay, hold on. They have a couple different sets. What's this one? Uh, Roger, Kennedy, now through, uh, level the three, sixth one, edition. Six. Is this the same? Uh, yeah, uh, liver uh, and uh, onions, uh, old bandage. Uh, Add uh, to uh, cart. Uh, Proceed uh, to uh, checkout. One situation <laughs> there. Four, two, five. Good night. It's gonna be here one, by two, Saturday, two, chat. Five. Place your order. Oh, one, two, Fuck. Two, As if I'm getting yeah. myself into this, man. All right, it's ordered, chat. It'll be here for Saturday's stream. Ugh. What's the brand? It's Bean Boozled. The dead fish almost got me. Uh, one dude, the dead fish and the 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 one the one that, the one that really got me was the was the rotten milk and the rotten eggs. Ugh, dude. Yes, four, eight, six, Toronto Center. You want to speak up May the odds ever be in your yes, favor, eight, dude. Eight, if I get liver and onions, I promise you, chat, that camera's going off, and I'm going for a. That's, I'm scared just thinking about it, man. Liver and onions. That's like gotta be. Pilot unknown. Seventeen months as I puke like a motherfucker when I ate them. 
This was six years ago, dude. It's been a long time since we've done them. These are all new flavors, too. I recognize some of the flavors, but those are all new flavors, too. It's not going to be good. Not going to be good at all, man. When you run out, you'll get the bulk refill bag. I hope not. I hope not, Daniel Berry. All right, we know that we're expecting the ILS Runway 5, 1097 057 1097 057 uh, on the front course front runway zero five. Front runway 7 runway good 1097 good and minimums on the ILS 764 764 on the MDA and we're going to do a wind correction of 5 Good. Air sickness bag for the added realism. Your dad loves liver and onions? Dude, I feel like it's an old school thing, man. My grandfather used to love it as well, and he always used to try and make us eat it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Liver tastes... The problem when I have liver and onions is when I have the liver, all I can taste is like that that iron blood flavor that's the only thing my brain focuses on is that that super irony rich blood flavor that's it that's all i can think about and it immediately makes me like no 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 taking the 900 out 7,29038 for ups 48 thanks uh, two nine or three nine. Good, two nine or three eight. All right, six one and nine are via, All right, we're continuing uh, the descent. Uh, 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 profile. Uh, uh, profile. Uh, Good. Back up, down. Continue the descent. Uh, the day is finally uh, over. Uh, Ooh, uh, damn! Late day for you, man. Late day. Uh, steak tartare is not bad. I've had that before, dude. I like steak tartare. Yeah. Yeah. Love some fried chicken livers. Chicken livers aren't bad either. I can do chicken liver. It's when you start getting yeah, into like cow yeah. beef that's liver and stuff like that. Nah, nah right man. Like. Crazy low pressure? Canada, it is, man. Yeah, that storm rolling through is pretty wild right now. Uh, this is 11,000 Air Canada 838. Uh, the Niner 5 Fox from Roger, you cleared to Buffalo Airport uh, via Timmins Airport Direct Gas Hook flight plan route. Depart runway 21. Walk three five three three, and your clearance is valid now. Or if not, airborne by. I'm suddenly a vegetarian. <laughs> oh fuck, dude. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Me too, man. I'm just gonna live off poutine. I'll be pescatarian. Isn't pescatarian? What's pescatarian? They eat cheese and fish, right? I'm a pescatarian now, Chad. I'm gonna live off poutine, French fries, cheese curds, and gravy. Five, well, veggie gravy, <laughs> veggie gravy. Oh man, you wanna go to practice tomorrow? Ah, you got it, man. Practice makes perfect. Practice, practice, practice. Remember, chat. Don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button. There's over 180 of us watching. We should be able to hit 150 likes. If you are enjoying the content, do me a huge solid, friends. Don't forget to smash down that thumbs up. Thanks everybody for being here this evening. Hope you've enjoyed today's leg so far. Yeah, if I'm Miami to San Martin right five, now, nice fight with the Caribbean update and water masking. Thanks. Very cool, Stephen. It is a good one. <clears throat> Take care, Joan. Theodore. That's a hearty diet. Yeah. I don't know how long we'll live. All that sodium. All that sodium would be bad. Living might be a stretch if that's all you can eat. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. What's the weather radar look like? Uh, no bueno. Not very nice as we approach a monstrous cloud in front of us. You know what we should do? Getting a little bit, uh, what's the outside air temperature? Toronto, good evening. Uh, uh, actually, it's we 10 degrees. We're not too bad. We, we don't need any yeah, icing. I think it's 11 uh, degrees, but we'll be fine. So excited uh, for Montreal across the pond? Yeah, be awesome, man, uh, for sure. It's been a long time uh, since you've flown the last time in New Zealand. Good. Has been a little bit. Yeah, we're going to go back and do some, some Airbus ops in and out of New Zealand. It'll definitely happen, man. Especially when we get that 777, too. We'll be able to do some cool Air New Zealand ops over to, like, Sydney and stuff. Yeah, that's actually some really cool routing. Auckland to Sydney. What is it? Three and a half, four hours on the 777? That'll be some cool routes that we can do. That'll be a great, like, Saturday or Sunday evening stream. 
<clears throat> Ooh, a little bit bumpy through those clouds. When was the last time you flew into San Diego? Uh, not that long ago. A couple weeks ago. What do you think 2024 will release? I have no clue, Mike, man. If, if we're going off of, like, anything previous, I would say probably sometime September. August, September, October, probably. Real turbine cloud turbulence is awesome. I agree, Zach. Yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. Do we have Toronto Approach online? Toronto Approach is online. Uh, 1328 or 1288, we'll see. Oof, that turbulence through those clouds. Sheesh. Angry. Yeah, that was a big pause. I don't know what that one was about. Yeah, it's a game changer, Zach, to be honest with you, man. The real turb through the clouds and stuff, it is wonderful. Gonna get some ground spoiler out. We're a little bit above profile here. A little bit heavy on the speed as well. We should be at like 290 knots, I think. I think there's a restriction. Uh, not yet. Restriction is at Ikbat, 7,220. Watch how bumpy it gets through this cloud chat here. Ready for this? Watch how bumpy she's going to get. We'll put this view. Look at that. Hee Bumped around through the clouds, man. What's your route you got for Cross the Pond? I didn't sign up this year, Waggy. I, uh, I put my foot down and I said, if I don't have a proper third party long haul aircraft, I'm not doing Cross the Pond. We don't have a proper third party long haul aircraft, I'm not doing Cross the Pond. I'll do my own long haul that day, man. I'll go from like New York to LA or LA to New York or something. I'll make up my own long haul. Still have real turb? Absolutely, Joe. Yeah, things are amazing, dude. Absolutely amazing. It's uh, it's one of those must-haves. If you, if you spend a lot of time in the simulator, I feel like it's a must-have. Could fly the Tolis 340? Mm, no. I would never fly X-Plane for a cross-the-pond long-haul event. No way, dude. Nah. No YUL? I, again, man, I, I didn't sign... I don't have a slot. I don't have a slot, and I... I, I honestly, like I said, man, without without a th proper third-party long-haul aircraft, I don't have much interest, man. I'm not... Uh, I'm not interested in flying the, the mods and... Nah. Not interested, man. Can make and send you a sick embroidered hat. If so, I could send it to you. That'd be cool, Trenolds. Uh, are you going to be at the Expo this year? The expos, if you have anything or you want me to check something out, the expos are a great place for that. Landing lights on, 10,000 feet. Seatbelt flash, good uh, continuous relight is on. And everything else is looking good. It's like we have like almost like a little Trump pocket there. of good evening. Air Canada nice down there. Information, Why a third party? You because be for almost four years, five, Joe, I've three, been flying... Eight modded default airplanes and I'm uh, I'm tired of it man I uh, I need uh, I need something better man yeah, 132 decimal eight. thanks for ATC have a great evening UPS 48 all right arrival on 32.8 we have ATIS information uh, Quebec Toronto Rivals, good evening, UPS 488, heavy info, Quebec, 8,000. UPS uh, 488, thank you for Quebec, uh, altimeter 2938, runway 05, descend 5,000. 2938, runway 5, will descend 5,000, UPS 488, heavy. All right, 5,000 on the altitude. We do have a speed restriction coming up. Uh, at Ikbat, 220 knots. We will respect that. Uh, New York to LA or LA to New York, what way uh, to say two different flights in the same route? Exactly. <laughs> We're descending into Toronto. We are. Surprising, uh, X-Plane has never crashed on a long haul for me, and I've done six plan. cross the ponds. You're lucky, man. Because oh, every single that, time uh, I try and do cross the, the pond on X-Plane, it crashes. And I, I, it's probably something to do with my ortho tiles. There's probably something weird going on with ortho, but 
Yep, every single time that I've tried to do Cross the Pond uh, on X-Plane, my simulator has crashed. We tried to do it in the Tolis 319, crashed. Tolis 340, crashed. Um, any builds 310, crashed. Every single time I try and do Cross the Pond in X-Plane, my simulator crashes. So, I, uh, yeah. Honestly, dude, like I said, man, I... My X plane isn't con my X plane isn't configured either. Like I wouldn't. There's so much stuff that I would have to do to get that in like a, a state where I'd be ready to stream it. And yeah, I'm also not interested in downloading hundreds of libraries and okay, there, just for one uh, weekend of flying. Uh, zero three zero Couldn't be bothered. Couldn't be bothered. Right zero three zero Canada Air four two five for Ireland intercept. I haven't generated ortho tiles in probably three years. What a blessing. I would agree with you on that one as well. Yeah, absolutely, man done YVR to Sydney in X-11 years ago and surprisingly had no issues. Damn. Planning on the Horizon 77 Dublin to Montreal, but I'm considering a BBJ. Yeah? Nothing wrong with that, man. Like I said, dude, if I can get a slot, I'll look and obviously I'll see if I can grab a slot, but I'm not gonna, you know, finagle and, and, and try and... Four eighty-eight, you're clear the hours approach from a zero five. Maintain uh, one seventy knots until... Right, maintain one seventy knots until curfew and leave five thousand on the glide path. All right, cleared ILS runway 5. We'll keep 170 till Kerpu and 5000 till Glide Path UPS 488 Heavy. Fingers Toronto crossed the PMDG to release the 777 for Cross the Pond. Reducing to 250, yeah, level 1, 1000. We shall see. One, we shall level, see. Level, All right, down to 5000. I'm going to go level change. Speed 220. Eight thousand and turn left heading I'm going to flip our ILS switch on. Good. Approach speed 139. Drive I'm going to activate final approach. Good. x Wayne 12.1 looks really 25. good from the screenshots Laminar released. Hopefully I'm not disappointed. Yeah, listen, I've always said this, dude. x Wayne is a screenshot simulator. The only time x Wayne looks good is when you have it in these perfect moments with the perfect amount of mods, with the sun set in the perfect time in the sky. Other than that, it looks like shit, man. Explain is literally like all about like those perfect moments of mods to everything else. That's it, dude. I'm not saying it, I'm not saying you can't make it look good. You definitely can, but again, it, it, it really comes down to how much effort you're going to put in and, and the perfect screenshots with the perfect sun in the sky and yeah, that. I don't have anything against it, dude. If you prefer x plane there's nothing wrong with that. But for me to have, like, two simulators and invest my money in two simulators and invest my time and my effort into two simulators, that's a, a lot of work, man. And uh, I just don't feel x planes worth my time anymore. It was. It, for, for a time, it was. But I just don't feel... There's nothing new and exciting coming with x plane Kind of like what you have with x plane is what you get. There's really nothing new coming. Yeah, okay, you got Flight Factor with the 777 V2 and stuff, but I don't know, man. That doesn't excite me. The PMDG 777 excites me. Flight Factor products? Not so much. Not so much. Uh, 210 on the speed. Let's go oh, flaps Canada, out. Air 4, 25, contact, turn out tower, no, and the screenshots are from Laminar. They're probably oh, zero yeah, mods installed. Uh, I wouldn't get it that, man. It's not, it's not like they're the ones taking the screenshots. They're, they're getting community members to take the screenshots and beta testers and stuff. That's all that it is. Uh, Glide Slope Star has been captured. Beautiful. Um, we're going to keep 190 because he wants 170 to Kerpu, so we'll put 190 to Kerpu. Give him the best forward speed. Andy, what's up, man? Welcome back. Cap, I suggest that you don't use real cat turb with this aircraft. The plane rocks back and forth too much. Uh, CWA, what you have to do, man, is you have to just turn the settings down a little bit, dude. Uh, if you go to here, you can have specific aircraft settings. You can turn some things down. I haven't had any problems with running these settings. Actually, uh, it should be... These actually should be a little bit lower, but yeah, you're perfectly fine. If you find that the aircraft is too sensitive, just cut off some numbers, man, and you can save an aircraft profile. Um, so, like, on route turbulence, you can leave that at, like, I don't know, 75 terrain turbulence Air 75 Canada, and then you can save aircraft profile and every time you're in this specific aircraft profile uh, you'll be good hitting, to go uh, so three, three, zero, just on three, had fun even during a rainy day three, three, thousand, Next. never use uh, x-wave before three, three, what i've seen the Air interface Canada, reminds me of an older sim that just doesn't appeal to me well it is man it's 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 much more of a hands-on simulator experience like i said i don't think there's anything wrong with it man um it's just for me as like somebody that it, it's just, it's too much to stay invested in both 
simulator platforms. It costs too much money. It takes up way too much time to keep explain like updated with libraries and sceneries and it's just a never ending battle with X plane is what I find to be honest with you. Let's go f uh, slats fifteen degrees. 4, Good, those are in. Armed. Gonna bug up one seventy on the speed. One seventy till Kerpu. Nose light is on, runway turn offs are on, wing lights are on. Beautiful. Um Sky Toronto went, Tower uh, on eighteen seven. Four thousand Sky Charter one. We're tuned to 18.7 for tower. Uh, tower 18.7, yeah. thanks for ATC, man. Have a great evening. UPS 48, happy. Yep. Kip, you think we'll get the 777 by the end of April? I don't know, man. I'd like to think so, but I really don't know. I really don't know. Toronto Tower, good uh, evening. UPS 48, heavy. ILS 5. UPS 488, heavy. Toronto Tower, good evening. Air number 2, traffic A3 at 20 is clearing the runway now. The wind's 0903, clear the land, runway 05. 42, clear to land, runway 5, UPS 48, heavy things. All right, 139 on the V app, good. We are now passing Kerpu, speed looks great, we're rolling everything back. Slats and flaps are 20 degrees, and through 170 knots, we'll go slats and flaps full. Just through 1,000 feet now, fully configured. Upstairs, lights are good, continuous relight is on, everything looks good upstairs, beautiful. Speed's rolling back, my aircraft. Enjoy the arrival, friends, and catch you down on the ground. I can just see the lead-in lights now. Let me start the replay, so we've got this. Man, look at this weather, chat. This is nasty. My airplane. Sounds are up. Enjoy. Roger. Good to Los Angeles. Uh, Someone's going to Los Angeles. 5, Holy. 7, 5, 3, 1, for Magellan 800. Magellan Wide pass. A little bit sloppy on the glide path tonight. Sorry, chat. 15, 14, 13, 20, 10, 5. Nose down gently. Oh my god. That was a little bit messy. Nose down. Decelerating. The wind almost shifted there for a second. Where are you parking tonight? Versor stowed. We'll run up to Vista for UPS 48. Roger, 48. If you can, Hotel 3, Hotel, cross 15 left. It's not Bravo, it's fine. Uh, Hotel, Hotel 3 will cross 15 and Bravo into the ramp. Thanks, UPS 48. Heavy. All right, we got it. That was a little bit messy, if I'm being honest with you, chat. Not a bad landing, but just a little bit messy. It kind of was being a little bit weird. I don't know if I had a trim trim weird, but uh, aircraft was being a little bit weird on that one. But it's fine. We're down. All is good. Could have been a smashy for sure. Yeah. Um, nose light over to taxi. Landing lights are off. Runway turn off lights are off. Strobe lights are off. Engine ignition switch is off. APU master start switch is on. Go ahead and clean up the ground spoilers. We'll clean up the flaps. And we're vacated on Hotel 3, exactly what he wanted to. We're crossing the 1-5s. Good. We'll stop the clock. One hour and six minutes. Are we early? We're one minute late. We're scheduled for an hour and five minutes. <coughs> Remember, chat, if you haven't done so, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up. We're looking for 150 likes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's live stream. We do have a replay of that, so we will be able to watch the replay. We'll see exactly where I went a little bit wonky on that one, but we shall watch the replay. You wanted us Bravo into the ramp? I don't think we can go Bravo. No, we have to go Alpha into the ramp. Hopefully there's nobody on Alpha over here. No, there's not. Okay, good. 
the Vista parking is a little bit weird. I don't even know where to where the parking would be here. Uh, Vista Cargo. I don't even think it's an option here. So we're just gonna go park ourselves in. Don't even worry about it. Cap, do you prefer flying airliners or cargo? Both, to be honest with you. I don't really have like a, a super preference. I enjoy both. I love doing some cargo ops as well. We don't we don't get to do enough cargo ops, so. I love doing some cargo ops, but I mean, com flying commercial and passengers is usually probably what we would, you know, worst airline anywhere. Nice. Is the A300 or the 310, which makes a funny trim wheel noise? They both do. Like a robot. Yeah, they both make funny noises. Alright, into the Vista ramp. This is where UPS parks. Yep, all good. Break, break, UBS 486, Toronto, Taxi Hotel, Cross Street. We will. We always seem to take this parking stand right here, so we'll take this one again today. Nose lights off. Enjoy short haul planes and GA like light jets with Elon Musk rides, but I think he owns a Falcon. I have no clue what Elon owns, to be honest with you. Oh, shoot, shoot. Flash at 1123, the 1193, clip for takeoff, reserve 5. Alright, Vista Cargo for us, chat, today. We'll call it right about... Remember, you have to always go further than you think you do. We'll call it right about there. Should be good. Cool. Park brake comes on. Beautiful. Upstairs, APU is on and available. APU generator is on. APU lead system is on, engine number two is off, engine number one is off, red beacon light is off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back down to Toronto. Pro Pete's off, fuel pumps are off, yacht amp ETS pitch trims off, nav lights on, seatbelt sign off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and open up the main cargo door, we'll go to GSX, we'll request deboarding. There we go, my friends. Went a little bit far, a little bit further than we needed to, but perfectly fine. There's the company UPS, which flew with us right over here as we are deboarding. Hey! Great flight, friends. Some shitty weather on both ends. Not bad. Not bad at all. Question, I got the stairs gone, the 737 PMDG, but now I can't get the plane to load from cold and dark like before. It starts with the battery on. Any ideas? Um, Ed, set your own, like, cold and dark state in the FMC. In the FMC, you can go to PMDG options, and you can choose how to set it. I would just set your own, man. Uh, the cold and dark state with, like, the aircraft, it can be a little bit weird. Also, if you're having trouble, go to the PMDG, um, go to the PMDG YouTube channel. They have great tutorials up there, um, that can show you how to set your own panel state and that stuff. Highly suggest watching that. It can help uh, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Short flight to LAX, yeah, yeah, only five and a half hours from here. No problemo, no problemo. All right, we're gonna get the flaps full. We're gonna get ready for our replay here, friends. Justin, what's up, my man? Welcome back, dude. Nothing real about this, freak. Did you have, are you having a bad day, Jake? Had a cross landing into RDU. I don't know what happened there. Just the winds felt a little bit weird. They were kind of like going like this. The airplane was kind of all over the place a little bit. But <clears throat> uh, Wait for engines. Here come the flaps. Good. Boeing guy, take care, man. Have a great afternoon or great evening. Hopefully I will see you back for the stream on Saturday. Back in the PMDG 737-800. Ryanair. Ryanair. I don't know why it puts the volume so damn loud at the beginning like that. It's until, like, I click on this and then it goes away. It's super weird. Super weird. Cool. Let's watch the arrival. I'm surprised we even saw anything on the arrival. Look at the weather right now. Holy. Absolutely gross. I'm going to take this time now to thank my mods, my donators, and my sponsors. Thank you all so much for everything that you do for the channel. 
Without you guys here, none of this would be possible. Seriously, thank you all for the support. Truly, truly, truly do appreciate it, guys. Thank you all so, so much. All the donators, all the, all the sponsors, all the gifted members. You guys are absolutely awesome. To everybody else that cannot donate using a monetary value, but donates with your time, your effort, being here in stream, smashing down the thumbs up button, just hanging out, flying with me on VATSIM, I want to thank you guys just as much. Appreciate every single person that comes to hang out my streams, uh, whether you're able to donate with a monetary value or whether you're just able to, to come and hang out with me here. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody, for continued support of the channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. You know the plan for the rest of the week. See, I mean, it didn't even look that bad. You know what? I find sometimes when you fly this aircraft, it, the arrivals from within the cockpit look so much worse. Like, that just looked like a normal, average, regular shitty weather landing it was actually pretty nice a uh, little bit of a heavy flare initially could have flown it into the ground a little bit better but you know uh tsc thank you for 17 months just can't wait to make you throw up with the jelly beans yes hopefully they're here on saturday morning for stream if not they'll be here sunday for sure but they're supposed to arrive on saturday i don't know if it's saturday morning afternoon evening We'll see. Guys, appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for coming to hang out this evening. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys with the outro tunes. I'm going to leave you guys with some replays. Look forward to seeing everybody back in the PMDG on Saturday. Should be a great stream. Ryan Air. Happy landings, my friends. Catch y'all on Saturday. See you.